This is the Emergency Medical Minute. So I was going to talk about something that uh, I've seen a lot more in the last five years than I think I've seen in a long time, which is a vertebral artery dissection. Uh, I think in the past we always just did CTs of the neck and we really didn't do CTs with contrast. And now we do CTs with contrast and we pick up all these dissections, uh, which I think we sometimes don't know what to do with or we just have people admit to the hospital to get heparinized. Why do we care about vertebral artery dissection? Because what? Because it causes stroke. That's really, that's really it. We care about vertebral artery dissection because it causes stroke. Uh, and, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and in all strokes, right, it's around 2% of strokes. It peaks around the fifth decade of life. But when you get to people who are under the age of 30, uh, it's, actually, uh, it's actually around 25% of strokes. Um, a lot of these are associated with trauma. That's the thing that's really unique about strokes from vertebral artery dissection uh, is they're associated with trauma most of the time. Uh, and that trauma can be something that's really also kind of, uh, kind of not that traumatic. So a lot of chiropractic manipulation is what results in a, a stroke. Uh, one estimate said that one in every 20,000 times that a person has their neck manipulated, it causes a tear. Uh, so that's pretty scary, and there's been a lot of really high-profile cases of that. So if you go to a chiropractor, no problem there. Just don't let them touch your neck. <laughs> and I tell patients that all the time. Um, the other things are like that have been shown to cause it are simple things like even yoga, where you're doing poses, and the most dangerous thing, the most dangerous movement that you do to cause a uh, cerebral artery dissection is actually looking backwards and rotating the head. Okay, so that's the most dangerous thing that causes a dissection. Yeah. Or you're three or whatever, yes. Another great excuse to not do yoga if you're like me, okay? Um, so cerebral artery dissection, the vertebral artery dissections oftentimes give you posterior strokes. Uh, so oftentimes to start with dizziness, d diplopia, uh, Wallenberg syndrome. Uh, so all those things are things that you have to think about. They're not going to give you the classic difficulty speaking kind of, kind of things that uh, oftentimes are associated with more anterior strokes. Um, so... Consider, if you have someone with a good mechanism that's basically had a rotational injury, is coming in with neck pain, uh, whether you want to put contrast in your, uh, in your uh, basic uh, you know, CT scan to pick up a vertebral artery dissection. The last thing is most people who have these do really, really well. So, uh, so most people, around 50%, have zero neurologic symptoms. Uh, when you get to kind of even really bad dissections, uh, only around less than 5% result in injuries that are bad enough to cause death. Uh, most people, some people have mi minor dysfunction after it, but thanks to neuroplasticity, that usually gets better with time, right? Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, really interesting cause of stroke and something that we see a lot more of nowadays. Emergency Medical Minute is and always will be about free medical education. Medicine's most prolific podcast is successful because of our supporters, donors, and of course, our listeners. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you support spreading free medical education, please donate at our website, emergencymedicalminute.com. As always, keep listening.